Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. So excited to be here on Saturday. It's a beautiful day here in Elk Grove, and we're wearing, I think this is cotton. It feels like cotton. I'm wearing a cotton knit, which I'm excited about. Um, beautiful day. I'm trying to think if I did any knitting last night. I didn't. I went to a restaurant downtown called Centro, and they have infused tequila. So I had a spicy, like a jalapeno drink with dried limes on top. I've been there with Roxanne wow. before. It's delicious. I had a grilled shrimp appetizer that, you know, when you order seafood, sometimes you'll get like three shrimps. Yeah. I don't know if shrimps, is that plural? I think it's shrimp. Is shrimp singular or plural? What do you guys think? I think it's both, kind of like sheep. I think so too. I think it's shrimp. Yeah. That's a Multiples, it. whether it's singular or plural. So, uh, <laughs> it tells you how tired I am. Um, but it was so good. It was grilled. It was delicious. They even, I didn't have any, but they had, it looked like a really good, um, I want to say creme brulee. Flan. It's the same. It's the same dish in multiple different. Is it custard-like? It is, but the flan is done in a, um, it's like a soft caramel sauce, then the flan, and then when you flip it over, oh, it's yeah. like runny caramel. Okay. Where creme brulee, essentially the same thing, but they take dry sugar and torch it so it's crunchy. Oh. I do like a creme brulee probably the most, um, but so excited. Hello, hello, everyone. Good morning. I know it's Deb's birthday today. Yay, happy yeah, birthday. we were chit-chatting yesterday. It was very nice. Um, what's what I did? Uh, watched a movie. Played on my phone. You know, I'm like, I'm in between projects. And when I mean in between, none are done, people. Me, me too. But I'm like, ugh, nothing's jiving. So I got to get excited about something. I, and I could start a project every single day because my joy is starting the projects. But I'm like, okay, I need to, I don't need to do anything. But in my head, I'm like, just finish one. Just finish one before you start another one. I think. Three quarters of my joy is rewriting the pattern on the computer. Really? Which is ridiculous. But ridiculous. Because yes. yeah. that's fiddly. I love well, that. I like fiddly. Yes, you do. Yes, that I is do. the difference. I like that on our team that we, everyone kind of likes something different. Yeah. I'm not a fiddly. If you guys did not know that, I will throw away a skein of cashmere <laughs> if it's tangled. I'm over it in about a minute or two. That's different than fiddly to me. That's. That's untangling, which is a separate category. I don't think of it as fiddly. How funny. Because it is. It is so fiddly. Totally. Yeah. And Kristen loves it. Yeah. Karen Howard loves it. So I'm like, all right, you do. I will give people, here's a skein of $50 cashmere. Like, I'm over it. I don't want to, yep. I don't want to touch it anymore. Um, I did, I want to start that vet, that shirt that I showed yesterday oh, with yes, the slip stitches. Yeah. I want to see if I can do the entire thing on the machine. Nice. So I've got to um, kind of work out some details and then maybe we'll do a Zoom class on that or in store. It'd probably be multiple classes, but I think it'd be really fun. Melanie, you and me both, girl, you're way better about finishing projects. Uh, let's see. Kathy says she loves the untangle. Trish, okay with nice. fiddling? Oh, if you want to volunteer, we've got <laughs> jobs for you. Um, I'm starting to really not enjoy but not hate the packaging because I've been doing a lot of the packaging. Karen Howard's taking stuff home to do See, packaging. I don't mind doing that. Maggie I says know. we can center untangling. Oh, of course. Oh, you guys are so good. <laughs> what I always wonder what happened in our lives that, like you two, no problem. Yeah. And well, you're not really an untangler. You'll do, do it, it if you have I'm, to, I'm but it's for, not joyful. I'm good for half an hour and then I have to take a break. Uh, okay. Maggie mm. says she doesn't do fiddly, but ent untangling's a puzzle. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, and I just use scissors. She's not going to let it beat her. It's just, 
I think it's really interesting why we knit and all the different reasons. Like people, we have lots of people who are start one project, finish it, will not let themselves start another project because their joy is in the finishing. I'm like, yeah, finish, finish. Someday yeah. I'll finish it. Yeah, so a lot of um, untangling likers. Love it. Nancy, I, you and I are the same girl. No, thank you. I'm like scissors. I'm great at weaving in ends. I just cut it. Oh, I'm oh. over it. Uh, Trish is a project knitter. I yes, I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I just love it that it doesn't have to be one thing for everybody. Whatever brings you joy, that's honestly all that matters to us. We want you to be joyful and love touching the yarn, seeing the yarn, wearing it. I do love finishing. Um, I don't even want to say that I love finishing. I do love wearing things that I finished. I mean, I have so many UFOs on the ranks and I want to start new stuff. It'll all work out at a certain point, you know, yeah. what will be finished will be finished. Otherwise move I on. will, yeah, move on. I will unwind it and it'll be prizes for people. Like it, I have no attachment to yarn, so it's, it's all good for me. And I love that. Kathy Delgado says she's a great starter. Yes, ma'am. Nancy, I know Bachi was discontinued about two years ago, a year and a half ago, at least, at least two. two clearances ago, yeah. three clearances ago. And we did, thanks you guys, you did a great job on our clearance sale. Sure. We hardly had anything left over, which is uh, amazing. Thank you, because otherwise we store it. Um, Carolyn Sanchez <laughs> says she started four new projects this week and put them aside. I've yeah, done that. I've done that too. Mm -hmm. Something needs to stick. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking it's like I'm hand knitting, I'm machine knitting, I'm dipping my toe back and sewing again just to give my brain uh, a switch. Um, oh, I just bought something paints by number. I mean, you know, will I ever finish it? Probably not. But it's, it was really pretty. It's there when you want it. Yes, because so. you do the dots, yeah, right? Dot Diamond dots. dots. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Um, what would be equivalent to bocce? It is a super, any super bulky and noro. Oh, bulky. no, bulky. Yeah. Any bulky and noro. Uh, I don't know. Off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. I'm on that first column, but I can't remember. I know. Name. Let me look. Come over here so we can help her out. All right. Field trip, folks. Oops, we forgot the microphone. Oh, well. That's fine. We show Rika in there, and then I'll just walk over there and talk about it. Okay. And then you just tell me where you – Rika, let's do Rika first. Okay. Oh, no, we'll do Sweeto. Okay, make up your mind. Okay, pick one. All right, Sweeto. All right, I'm over here. So this would be one. Sweeto is 352 yards of a bulky weight. It's a tweed. Okay, next. Lots of good colors. Hang on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, Rika. Rika, love Rika. Rika is, I like the blend in this one. So it's a wool alpaca silk, more like bocce, beautiful. Lots of good colors. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Make your way back through the heavens. Heavens of good yarn. All right. Well, so nice to chat with you guys in the morning before we jump into our show. We're going to be talking about our grand prize. We will be giving this away on the 1st of March, valued at more than a hundred, I'm going to say $125. We never added this one up. Here we are at the end of the month. Normally we would have done it. We have none of that this month. Beverly's comment. We're just swinging it. You start projects then. Oh my, look at all that new yarn. Yes. <laughs> imagine like working at a yarn store. Like every day. Every day boxes come in and you're like, yeah. oh. by about hour six, I'm like, oh, I got I want to take this one. I want this one. I want that yep. one. The longer I'm here than the day, the more I want to get. And spring yarns are coming mm -hmm. or like we're already thinking about LYS day. So I'm like, OK, I need the yarn so we can get samples. Uh, we're really working ahead. I'm already designing for uh, Knitmas in July. I know. I'm just trying 40. to be ahead of the game on the ball i try to be not all the time not all the time we have good plans we do 
All right, so we've got a lot of fun things we're going to be talking about today, but we'll focus on the monthly grand prize valued at over $125. We have three of our patterns that are all available on Ravelry. Uh, here's what I like about using Ravelry. You get to store them in your library. You can post them. You can put comments. It really helps people to see the patterns you've done and the notes that you've written. Um, we have two hat patterns. One is bottle opener. I need my glasses. I can't even really see that. Uh, let's see. Bev says she's worked in yarn shops. Yep. So you know the temptation. Then we've got Headlong, which is our version of a super bulky CC beanie. And we have Pebble Beach. We have one skein of Savvy in Whetstone. That is W-H-E-T-S-T-O-N-E. -E. It is 130 yards of a super bulky, hand-dyed, um, and beautiful. It is a super wash, even though the label doesn't say it. But I'm going to tell you it's a super wash. You are going to want to... You could hand wash it, but you're probably going to need to pop it in the dryer. Uh, Superwash is designed to go in a low dryer to kind of bounce it back. For some reason, I don't understand the chemical reaction, but the coating of the Superwash when you wash it becomes like a, li a limp noodle. You need to put it in the dryer to get it to like tighten back up. Definitely a big thing on that. It is why we always say if you're knitting a sweater, you need to wash your swatch exactly how you want to care for it. And I'm going to tell you, I don't want to hand wash anything. I'm putting it in the washing machine if I could, because I do think it cleans it better. If you were going to soak it, yes, but I feel like if you have a washing machine that's hand wash, perfect, perfect. Um, it comes with one of the amazing shawl pins, or it could be a brooch. I have people put it on their tote bags. Very nice to work with. Uh, this one is a gold um, flower. I have the silver one here. These are probably the top two. I'm really excited because the show that I'm going to in a few weeks in Vegas is this company. Yeah, this is the one? Oh, yes, my gosh. I'm so excited. I love to see what they have. Exciting. Great stuff. Uh, let's see. We also have our cashmere blend scarf with fur palms and the chocolate brown. In stock, we have it in camel and the beautiful, really beautiful powder blue. And uh, we also have the Lux Layers necklace. This is all in gold with crystal inset on both sides. It also comes in silver and in um, gold and silver, the mix, which I highly recommend because it goes with everything. And then we've also included two of our um, hearts. We have a large pink and a small red. So very fun. Um, how do they get entered to win this prize? So every time you make a purchase, that gets you one entry per transaction. It is cumulative, so the more purchases you make, the more entries you get throughout the month of February. We will draw on March 1st. Yeah, I don't even know what day that is, but I believe it's a We've Friday. so many days that it might be, I'm not even going to risk. And people no, no, keep no. reminding us oh, what wait, it is. Oh, wait, 7, like, it's next Saturday. Saturday? Oh, no, is it? No, oh. it's next Friday. Okay. Because it's a leap year. Maybe, I don't know, let me look uh, so that we actually know what we're talking about. It is next Friday. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for telling us. Yes. We have so many things going on in Keep our brains reminding. right now. That's right. When are we doing it? <sighs> so it's a really good prize. I love it. In our daily prize, which is really nice, we I feel like the more you give away, the better it is. So we have one of our patterns, Bollywood, which was designed for assigned pooling yarn. And honestly, Alexandra's is probably the first assigned pooling I'd ever seen on the market. She called it Dark Side of the Moon. This is Midnight Aegean Sea Superwash Merino Silk Blend. And it has this beautiful blue section. That's going to give you about an inch and a half. Uh, if you have not just done assigned pooling, really nice to work with. You can choose to do something special when you come to that little tidbit. This is one of our cowl patterns. You can do it um, 
with the sign pooling, with a variegated that you just pick one of the colors you're going to do something, you can make it random, but it is a really fun, easy way to do it. Um, and I just love this one. It also always comes in three sizes. I'm going to say the majority of our cowls. And what's nice with this one, you just need one skein of 400 yards to do any of the sizes. Of course, um, you could probably do two or three of the medium out of one skein, but because we always say the yarn that we're using, it's basically one skein. Uh, how you get entered into the drawing for this lovely prize. Oh gosh, Nancy, I, if you give me, uh, let me know when it's not crazy weather, I will fly out and go to game night with you. Cause I have a friend who lives, um, I think it's New York. Teresa. Mm. Kentucky or Pennsylvania, depending. No, she doesn't live in Kentucky anymore. Oh, my anymore. gosh. I yeah. missed that one. Pennsylvania mm. or New York. Oh, my goodness. Um. All right. So how you get entered into this? Reactions. So easy. We love all this, everyone. When we see all your um, emojis coming up, it just fuels our fire. If you comment right here, you can uh, get five entries for every comment. Well, Nancy knows your friend is in New York City or New York State. <laughs> like, I don't. She, she is. is. She, wait. Funny. You, Nancy. So oh, she, yes. Yeah. I mean, Iris. Oh, yeah. But she's not New York City. She's White Plains. I would love to oh, do that. New York State. Wouldn't that be fun to go out there? Oh, yeah. She's already offered it. But I'm like, okay, how do I how do I how figure do that out? It? Yeah. I know, but I would love to do, do they it. Do you still do that show in Ohio? No, it's in Chicago. So, At least that half of the country. I know. I know. I would like to visit Teresa in the fall yeah. maybe and go up there. And oh, then I could pretty. do Rhinestone, Art Yarns, and Teresa. Rhinestone or Rhinebeck? Oh, Rhinestone, Rhinebeck. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. That's funny. Okay, question. How many of you guys knew what I was talking about? I love that. With the Rhinestone comment? With the Rhinestone. Yeah. How many of you guys realized I was actually talking about Rhinebeck? Or it could be Mer uh, MSFW, what is that? Maryland Sheep, Sheep Wool Festival. Festival. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. See, you know what I love about this, you guys? You're all women. I literally will say, will say washing machine, but I mean dishwasher. Yeah. All the time. My brain's firing so fast most times. It's not slow. It's my mouth can't speak as fast as my brain yeah, is going. Yeah, things come out. Oh yeah, my gosh! Knew what you meant. Thank you. <laughs> um, I may do that. That would be a fun little trip. <sighs> Deep breath. Yeah. All right. So everyone can say relate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. People think you don't know what you're talking about, but I'm like, oh no, that was that totally made sense to me. Um, we've had many discussions with Jack, like to correct me in the beginning and I was like did you know what I said yes don't correct me it's uh do we have those thing when you say no to me I think the f word in my head by <laughs> oh, that right there on the table. oh my gosh yeah. this one this is what I think when when uh someone corrects not you but a man corrects me right I'm like mm, you correct yeah. me this is what I think in my what head. I'm really thinking yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> With you, I'm like, oh, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> Shelly, that's if she remembers what she's talking about. That's <laughs> that funny. is true. You need a knitting retreat. I know. I'm so excited. We're like a little over a month out from our knitting retreat. I'm super excited. <sighs> All right. Uh, the other way to get entries is to share now. Share to your stories. Very easy to do. You're just going to pop right in, say where you shared it. Um, share to my friends. Share to my stories. And you're going to get 11 entries as long as you pop back in and let me know where you shared it. Um, so based off of yesterday's video, let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this one. Natalie Roy. Ooh, Natalie Roy is in Canada. Congratulations, Natalie. We would love for you to come visit us. And if you do, let us know you have a prize in the cabinet. If That's, you yeah. can't make it in person, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package.
package. I love that. I'm glad Karen is going to be here today. We need to rearrange our discussion points here while you do your um, housekeeping. Me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. These ones, these little stitch stoppers are so cute. Stay positive. I like that. I think sometimes I need a reminder. Yeah. Don't spin. And some rainbow paws. Pause for effect. Because I can't help but with the silly jokes. <laughs> All right. I know some of you liked our caramel viewing yesterday, so here we go. Jalapeno, right. I think, is our number one flavor. You love the mushrooms, Nancy. I think they're so cute. Mushrooms, oh yeah. Let's. I think let's um, Smurfs you. when I see that. I know, such shape. Yeah, maybe we need some blue mushrooms with a hat. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Cat mom also. And the pandas. All right, housekeeping done. We have so many fun things to talk about today. I'm going to have you drop the link of the um, kids one. We're going to talk about that first. All right, here goes attempt one, three. We are oh, there we go. playing with the new Facebook features to make it easier for everyone. Yes, that one worked. And I'm so excited. I saw this at the trade show. I think it's perfect for grandmas, for moms, uh, any time. Oh, it's not here, is it? Oh, no, no, I didn't open the, the web page once today. I forgot. Okay, that's all right. Um, okay, let me try and find, find it no, this way. Try that. Oh, yeah, okay. I wonder if you can click the link that it was on the Facebook thing. Um, yes, but then it would take me out of. Well, if you do right click. There. I don't know. Let me try it. Okay, so I went to a trade show. Smurf like, yes. And I love seeing other things that are not knit related that I think would be helpful for me. Uh, we were we're going to be trying this out on Everly next week while she's here at the store. They are chalkboard travel mats that are reusable. It comes with two travel mats and a pack of crayons. And all you do is wipe them off with like a baby wipe or anything like that. And it comes clean every time. Multiple designs. It's under $15. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there is more of a, it's going to be easier for you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, the best idea Kathy Delgado, great gift for your grandkids. So it's whether you are trying to get them to behave while you're teaching a class or you're waiting for your food to come, you can draw on it. Um, they're flipped over, so they come with, um, I, think, I think, four designs. Uh, we have this one, which is the um, barn Farm Jungle Travel Mat mats in it and mm -hmm. four crayons we have i mean what little girl doesn't want this one we have princess and butterflies and last but not least i would get everly this one just to be different because i, I even though there they are some gender driven that there's a boy one a girl one a neutral one it's just nice to give everything so everly is going to be getting two sets a girl version a boy version because she likes all that stuff she's into yeah. everything dinosaurs fun. and then you just wipe it there's there are no dust you use the chalkboard crayons and then you wipe clean with a damp cloth throw it or you can throw it in the sink to rinse off <laughs> non-toxic designed in, <coughs> sorry, the U.S. We also brought in extra crayons, and I love these ones. They're the big ones. They're dual drawing markers in metallics. Oh, nice. These are uh, the companies in Michigan, which I love. Oops. Super fun. Um, There's the crayons in the Yep, it and comes pack. with uh, four crayons and the travel mats. If you need extras, 
you have this one that comes, I think, eight different colors. So really, this is pretty basic, probably like red, orange, yellow, green or something like that. And then you have the dual sided um, markers because one's a fine tip, one's a oh, brush nice. tip. So I oh, love this, that. This is, this is a zipper pack, so you can just store it in there as well. Yeah, that's rip it awesome. open and there you go. So that's something new and exciting. We just kind of dabbled in it. I just want to see how it goes. We are near a restaurant and I anticipate having Karen putting it mm -hmm. in that corner with a sign. Yeah. Like, uh, need to kid, keep your kid occupied while you're eating at Stagecoach. Come grab these. I think also when you're driving in the car with them, it's really nice. Yep. Okay, next in our lineup of restock, we have one of my favorite lotions. This is by Blue Q. And let me see who this is donated to. I'll tell you a little bit about it. No uh, parabens, sulfates, phytolates, dyes, or animal testing. They have really nice flavors. There is French tulip and bergamot. There is English rose with clover and elderberry. That's a new scent. There is hibiscus with a little vanilla. I love the packaging. Mm -hmm. There is a lavender with a little lemon. We have brought this in again and again and again, and we sell out all the time. I love it. You put the link up. It worked. I, I think I figured it out. Awesome. <laughs> and me. then blush magnolia with vanilla and sandalwood. This is two fluid ounces, which means you can bring it on uh, the plane when you travel. And then I'm going to show you. This is um, just I want to just show you what it looks like. So it's thick without being too thick. And it absorbs really nicely. That's a clean scent. Not too floral. I'm going to show you. How many of you have used this lotion? And what's your favorite scent? Or uh, what do you like about it? I'm going to tell you what I like about it. When you rub it in, it doesn't, you don't feel sticky. That's it's nice. like you rub it in, you wait about 30 seconds, and it's like you have nothing on your hands. We have testers over here for you to try it. There you go. Oh, look at my old hands. Don't look so old. You know, it's funny. As you, you hit your 50s, you're like, oh, my God. I, I know, have right? spots. This is what I think. Years of getting my nails done and putting my hands in the UVs. I mean, because my right hand's not sticking out the window. You would think this one would be <laughs> the one, right? Yeah. But look at how nice that looks. It's all um, done in. Really nice. I think just a little nice I love you gift for someone or for yourself. Uh, the packaging's good. You can even buy one of those things that you put on here and ring, 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 twist it up. I think it's called a key. They don't roll up, Deb, but they're totally flat. So you could easily oh, nice. put them. Yeah, sorry. I'm just reading comments. They don't take up much room. No, it's very thin. Very, very thin. They're like, what, like placemats kind of? Yeah. Kind of I mean, thin. you could use them as a placemat. Yeah. They're plastic. I just think so cute. Bev says, I look in the mirror to say, who is that person? <laughs> yeah. Um, Melanie says, the lotion rubs in clean. The new spring one, I believe, is English Rose. Yeah. And I don't know, do we have a tester? I, not that I saw. If not, we'll make one a tester. But I just really like, it's really important when you're knitting or crocheting, you're not using a lotion that has too much oil in it because it transfers onto your work. So we've got that. I'll have to look to see who they donate for for this one. Oh, nice. They do the They do. Too. Awesome. All right. So here we are talking about Blue Q. Remember, we talked about yesterday, Blue Q Socks, uh, they donate 1% of their sales to Doctors Without Borders, and they really have fun kind of tongue-in-cheek socks. Now, here's the thing. If you're not, you don't want to, you know, hi, I don't care, thanks, it's not going to show unless you mm -hmm. pull your pants up, right? Only you know that you're um, wearing it. 
I love the pink on here. This is all kinds of beauty, beautiful for me. This is women's size 5 to 10. It says machine wash cold, tumble dry, medium heat. I just throw them in the washer and dryer. I was too cold wash because it really doesn't make a difference. I might have to do the one for this one. I don't, I've only got the three options and that one's not in there today. Oh, it should be in another day because it saves oh, the other I, ones. We still have to figure this out, folks. All right, that's okay. Let me just pop up Blue Q real quick. I don't want to click too many buttons because I don't want to interrupt the video. All right, I let accident. me do this. I'm going to copy and paste it, put it at the top. Can you, I'm wondering, because we're looking on our computer, how does the link show up for you? Me? No. Mm -mm. Other people. <laughs> yeah. Which, oh, yeah, if you're on your phone, what does it do? Yeah. I'm just curious about that. All right. We've got more. Here's another one. Friend power. I could not get through my life without my girlfriend's. Best thing ever is a girlfriend. I like this one. Most likely to say it to your face. That one's awesome. Yeah. On the phone, it covers up comments. Okay, interesting to know. Um, we have a few other of the ankle socks, and then we've got some funny socks. The handyman. For the favorite man in your life or someone who fixes things for you. Um, okay, let's see. Stacy says on the computer is a floating box on the screen. Oh, this yeah. One right here. Mm -hmm. We have that. I mean, a box on this, across on my here, screen. I can see the pinned comment and then I can barely see one comment above oh, it. Okay. And then this one emergency contact person. I love this one. This is so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So these are, again, 1% of the sales are donated to Doctors Without Borders. More than $1.8 million, I looked it up, have been nice. donated in the last 10 years. Okay, these are new ones. I think they're so funny, especially this one because we say it all the time. They call them sneaker socks. So you could wear them with your tennis shoes if you choose. They have like that little thick tab right here. They're very spongy. Um, okay, how funny is that? Squirrel. <laughs> we always say, look, squirrel. Uh, but this is made with recycled polyester, breathable cotton. They come in two sizes. This is a large, extra large, which is a woman's size 9 through 13 or a man's 8 through 12. We also have it in a small medium. Okay, the next one is funny for the cat people. Um, a little bit more about the socks. They're built for pro performance. There's a soft heel tab, moisture wicking, seamless toe, and targeted compression in the center. Okay, here's the funny cat ones. There is, again, a large, extra large, and a small, medium. Are they adorable or what? It's pretty funny. We're going to be showcasing uh, socks for a few more days, just doing a few each day. Different styles, but everyone loves socks. I just think they're so funny, especially um, they are definitely tongue-in-cheek. Which, once I found out that they did all that donating, it just made yeah. me love them even more. All right. We actually have time. I didn't think we would. Bright, Maggie. Yes, yes, Glenna, you're like my daughter. She wears a ten and a half. There's lots of times things don't fit her feet, and it's nice to have options. Okay, next in the lineup, we are talking about Ito, which is um, my favorite feltable wool in the Noro line. Uh, what Ito is is essentially four balls of what would be Curion, but there's way more colors in it. A typical Curion, I think, had 12 colors. There are 30 colors in the barrel balls. Wow. Yeah, so beautiful. I'm going to turn it on the side. This is a brand new color, 66, 440 yards. It is 
um, hand wash, lay flat to dry, or feltable, which we're going to talk a little bit about some felting patterns. I love the color options in this one. We're just going to start. I don't even know. We'll start right here. I'm the, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the link. Let's see if that works. No. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. All right, keep going. I'm just going to. Okay, so right here, there's a gorgeous Merlot, and then it gets to start to change to um, plum. We have grass green coming in, a little bit of shamrock chartreuse look at all these shades it's like scorched lime then neon then the orange starts coming in this beautiful gold sunflower yellow cantaloupe orange orchid love this color right there and it just keeps going around and around you're going to see aqua blue some fawn mushroom look there's hits of my favorite color pinks in there woo 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 so very gorgeous um all right oh you did it i did it yeah Good job all right i'm going to show you another color and then we're going to talk about some patterns this one is so pretty i'm curious how many of you have felted i have i have a lot i like felting because it creates a dense fabric that you can um make structured things whether you line them or not we've got some really fun patterns to show you all right, this one is color number 60. This is definitely more of a summer fall look. We'll start right over here. We've got, again, that root beer, sunshine yellow. Even though there's similar colors in the lines, they look so different. Uh, raisin, rose, and then that peony pink. We have this uh, copper coming in. This one is a little bit more subtle, even though it has all those colors, because you can see the fuchsia here, the rust, the carnation pink, the lemon yellow, a little bit more subtle of an option. Oh, no, I still like it like this. They look so pretty like that. So let's see. Ooh, I love it. So Trish has felted. Nancy, you have not. You would love it, because here's the thing. You felt out the mistakes. Like, your knitting doesn't have to be perfect because you knit it on a bigger needle. Uh, let's see. Pat and a third is felted. Suzanne, nice to see you. All right. So let's talk about a few different things that you could do with it. This is the Felted You Soap Sack. So if you do, I used to do this when we were doing camping and stuff like that or traveling. You can take your favorite soap and you put it in this sack that you knit you don't even have to felt it when you use it it will felt around it which is even more exciting um, so you can take it with you you have your washcloth and your soap all in one and this this is a good idea to show you how you actually felt uh felt things hello i know you're chicken <laughs> You'll started. have to showcase that Yeah. Uh, when we talk about our project. So we have the felted slippers, which I love. Um, when I'm doing felted slippers, I will actually put my uh, foot in a plastic bag and then I push it in there and then get it to go around um, my foot. Talk about custom socks. Okay, love these. We have knit these since 2005 when we opened. Look at that, since January yeah. 1995. Wow. This is a felt hat. You can um, really shape it over a bowl. It's very malleable, almost like clay. So you can get a rolled brim, a flat brim, and I just use washcloths to kind of stuff it. Or you can use styrofoam. It's just really exciting to do this very easy to do this is double stranded worsted on a size 11 needle nice and look at this you only need between 200 and 250 yards that's pretty good mm -hmm. which means you could easily get i'm just wondering how many people would want to do this as a class a lot of and lots of tips on how to felt it in front loaders you can easily do it in a front loader it's not hard all right here's another one felt hat two uh, this uses basically a single strand of worsted. I like this one too. 
in three different sizes, two brims. I don't like the rolled brim, but my mother loved the rolled brim. I like it more straight out is more my style. Uh, we have this. If you want to make little pins for your friends, this would be gorgeous so out of that. Easy to do. Look at 30 to 50. You could start now and make these for your girlfriends for Mother's Day. If you want to do a sweater out of it, you could use, um, I'm trying to think how you would do it. Oh, it's interesting because there's two different colors. I would make mm -hmm. the blue be the Ito, and then the solid you could use, since I brought it over too, this is a Malvinus. This is the equivalent in a solid, so you could use something like this. Oh, that's really pretty. Very different colors, but still lovely to work with. 330 yards. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they're both 100% uh, feltable wool. Malvinus is a blend of Falkland wool um, from the Malvinus Islands off the coast of Argentina. I didn't know that. Love it. I mean, I think this is beautiful. And it, how cool, half of it would be like solid, right? So this would be self-striping the decorations in solid. And then when you switch, it's opposite. Ooh, fun. pretty. All right. Ooh, this is pretty too. Reverse, if you want a nice, easy one. It has saddle shoulders. There is garter stitch here and stockinette here. Gorgeous color blocking. I love that one of them would be self-striping, though. Very but fun. if you wanted to do all solids, Malvinus would be a good choice. It is really easy to take care of this. Like a hand wash sweater, you just either have a cycle on your machine that you can wash it, or you put it in like a that's a bowl. I'm dating myself. Or wonder, wonder bowl? That's a bowl was the big one. But you put a little bit of soak. A little bit of, I'm telling you, best thing ever for everything that you want to hand wash. Um, a little bit of soap, warm water, swirl it around, just soak it. And if it's in a bowl, you can kind of um, push the sweater aside, drain out the extra. Then you have a towel that you lay down, gently lift it up, kind of organize it. Don't do it squishy and roll it up like a jelly roll. I step on mine. Me too. I step, turn, step, turn. If I need to use another uh, towel, I'll use another towel. And then I just lay it flat on a bed away from my animals with the fan on it. And even in the winter, it'll dry a day, 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to say. Mine normally can be 24 hours. All right. If you're interested in doing the Killer Queen Cowl, this would be great. I thought that would be really fun. With, mm -hmm. They have the, they're variegated, you would use. Yeah. Keto. We have a few other colors. We can put in some combinations for this one. This is color number 40. Ooh, so beautiful. I think this is just summer colors. They're warm pastels, lots of amazing colors. You're going to see, uh, Ooh, this is really pretty. There's like red violet here, but then this is like cerise. It's a cranberry red. Love the seafoam green. Really pastel yellow goes into aqua. Then we have gray. Then we have cerulean blue. A little bit of cream with a gold mushroom. A little bit of light pink. And oh, this one right here. Chartreuse dove gray. Then we've got gold, and then it just starts to go around and around and around. You can see all those colors right there, all the way across. So beautiful. If we were going to pair them together, um, I'm going to pull out the solid, Susan, if you wanted to do Killer Queen Cowl, which we do have an on-demand class. I'm going to let you line up with what we've done so far. You could stack the color on top of it. Neil. You can point, and I'll do it for you if that makes yeah, it easier. I, I like these two. I do too. I don't know if this one's too close or not. Those two. You would have some they're, of this. Yeah, they're a little bit. Ooh, okay. How about this one? 
I think, yep, that one. I also actually like this one. Right. Because even though there is that blue green in it, there's not too much of it. About that one. This one? This one? This one? Yeah, that one and this one. Mm hmm. And that's fun. That too similar. Subtle, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want subtle. You want like yowza. That one's subtle too. I feel like it's going to be this one. What do you guys like? The there we go. Area. This is color number 17 with Edo number 60. Or do you like color number two with Edo number 60? I like that one. You do? It's still subtle, but it's got a pop. Mm-hmm. All right. This one, for people who are asking what the numbers are, Ito is color number 40. Malvinas is color number 9. And right over here, we have Ito number 66 and this gorgeous um, medium cornflower blue color number 7. We do have two more uh, colors to showcase. I'm just going to go like this, make a pretty picture. If you're a neutral person, look at this beauty. This is color number 61. They, they always used to make it color number one, and now they've got, uh, this is definitely a little bit warmer. You start out with like a... Uh, Sienna Brown, which kind of has a reddish hue to it. Cream, dove gray. We go into this mushroom section where you start to see the warmer taupes. There is definitely olive greens and so many different colors, and it just swirls around. I feel like there's a color that would Looking at the pretties. All right. And last but not least of what we're showcasing, we do have more colors of Edo on the shelf. This is color number 33, which has just all these gorgeous uh, shades of rose from a dark burgundy rose into the medium American beauty pastel rosebud. And then you've got these hits of um, it's not sunshine yellow. It's cooler than that, more like a lemon yellow, like a darker lemon yellow. I love the hits of root beer gold that we get. Here's my mushroom section. Love this. And then it just starts to float out. But I love right here, this section right here. So beautiful. Again, 440 yards of Ito. If you want to do a sweater, right, even here in the U.S. or the U.S., California, you would just wear, um, once it's washed, it softens up tremendously. If you're a little sensitive to fiber, just wear it like the other day I wore a long sleeve um, shirt underneath it, like a fitted one. So nice to wear. I want to see that orange and back with it. This one? Yeah. Definitely <laughs> yeah. Uh, fall. This could be a good chicken. <laughs> yeah, that would make a good chicken. Um, this one, I think there's so many options that you could do with this. Right. I even think like the orange would pull really nicely if you want more of a warmer, because this is definitely a cool orange. We have this gorgeous coral, number 17, and I actually like this one. Oh, yes. Very pretty. I don't think I saw that one. This is back color there. number three, red violet and violet red. So you can see both of them. The purple is the violet red, and then this one is the red violet. Just gorgeous highs and lows in that skein. I mean, that is <laughs> that, right? Gorgeous. Yeah, I love that combination. All right, I'm going to set it here. I'm just going to move these over. Yep. That's probably my favorite. That's the new color, number 66. We're going to show you a few more patterns to make with them. Did you pull Sophie? I don't think so. Okay, I'll pull a couple more. Here's one. Oh, we did that one. Ooh, for the crocheters, this would be great. 
square scramble sweater. Look at that. It's like little puff stitches. And we have, ooh, Moon Knight Cocoon Cardi. Cute. I love the cocoon in the back, everyone. It looks so cute. Out. This one's a little long for me, but I do love that one. We've got the Malibu sweater. So cute. I would definitely wear that one. My daughter would wear that too. We have Island Time blankets. Love this little, are those bombs? I hope it's not. I, I hope it's it, like a puff. Yeah, I think it is. Because boy, that's beautiful. And last but not least, we have the Basilis bandana cowl. One. Mm -hmm. They have a pair of fingerless mitts that goes with it on a different page. And if you don't want fringe, look, how, it's so cute even without fringe for the purple piece. There you yes. go. All right. We are talking about what we're wearing. Uh, I am wearing one of our double wrap cowls. This is Sunset in the Desert. And it is done with one big skein of originally Noro Akari, which is a worsted weight. Ito would work out amazing. Very simple. It almost has like a pendant of stitches. So you see the pearls and the knits, they end up making a square together, but it's almost like a right isosceles triangle, I believe is what it's called. Look at that. Geography is coming out sophomore year. Fancy word. I know. All right, I'll show you what Susan's wearing, and then Karen's here. She can show you her new baby. <laughs> All right, Susan. This one is called Bonjour. Hi. The two words together is its name. This one is, what is this one? Um, thank you, Millie Fiori Light Lux, because it had the sparkle in it. Just a cute little cowl. I like it over your shoulders. It's uh, nice. Yeah, it's nice and warm that way. But so yeah. easy. Easy. It, there's it, increases on it? Yeah, it's a funnel shape. And, and look at yours. I know. Wait, look at that. The purple people. The purple people. Yeah. Oh, All right. yours purple too. Yeah. All right. I love What are you wearing, Sorry. Karen? It's okay. Uh, Earth Orbit? Yes. Yes. Susan has one where it hit. hers has a little purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a little heart. Yeah. yeah. It's just an easy. Super easy. fun project. I could do that yeah. one over and over. And what's yeah. in your hands? Oh, I have to give her a name. She needs a name. Oh, I can think of Helen, but... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that, <laughs> All right, Helen. All right, Helen. Okay, Helen I touched Helen. Helen. She's lovely. She is that cashmere light. Cashmere light, yeah. Stuff that we had a while back that's kind of like... I know. A hundred percent cashmere. So soft. So soft. Yeah. Bring her a little closer. We want to see her eyeballs. <gasps> is that so cute? Thanks, Susan. And the little beak that is um, Northern Lights. Oh, oh some yeah. of my leftovers. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, All right. And I'm sorry, I went back there and Hank is like, <laughs> he's <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> he does didn't say a word. So didn't even care. Yeah. I was there, and he's, he's a good just boy at totally work. Yeah. at home. He's up. crazy, but yeah. it's like we're training him. Like we behave at yeah. behavior. Yeah. yeah, it was very yeah. Cute. So Hank is in the building. We did take some pictures of Hank for everyone who's been asking. We, tr we tried. Oh, my gosh. It's They're like a photographing a two-year-old. Um, but thanks, everyone, for watching. We will see you next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time for our next uh, Live at the Boutique. But have an amazing weekend. All your packages have been shipped so far except for what's come in today. Um, and our boutique is open 11 to 5. So have amazing Sunday and Monday, and we'll see you back in the boutique on Tuesday. Bye-bye.